What's going on you guys? It's your Huggable Hipster, a very bare-faced Huggable Hipster, because I had this idea that we would do a Get Ready With Me on this channel. Now, I don't normally do Get Ready With Me's on this channel, I do it on my vlog channel, so if you guys want to check out my vlog channel, be sure to check out that. The link will be at the end of the video. Yeah, um, I got my Peach Red Bull, I got my products that we're going to be using, and honestly, all the products here are mostly e.l.f. I mean, I have some Too Faced and some Anastasia Beverly Hills, but I mean, you know, I'm not sponsored by e.l.f., so, you know. <laughs> I just really like their products. They're really good. But yeah, it's interesting because a video already went up today on the last part of Layers of Fear, which, hello, I cannot believe that we already finished Layers of Fear, nine parts. Are you kidding me? Which I was like, you know what? I want to do like a second video for today just because. And I thought, hmm, let me show like a little bit of behind the scenes of how I get ready for a video, which, you know, includes me talking to myself exponentially, listening to BTS or asking Alexandria and, you know, having shit tons of caffeine because let's be real over here okay i have a lot of caffeine on the daily and right now i'm using the elf matte oil control lotion because sometimes i get oily and i just tend to put it around my neck and on my hands because it's just a really nice lightweight lotion i don't know if any other gamers do get ready with me if they do let me know down in the comments below because i don't see too many of them next up i'm going to be using the adjusting face primer in the lavender serum thing. It's actually really awesome. And I don't normally use primer, but when I do, <laughs> all around the face, it's like a nice massage for your facial. But yeah, I was like, you know what? I'm pre-recording this on Sunday. Let's just say I'm pre-recording this. So you guys are seeing this tomorrow. I get all my time so mixed up. It's <laughs> funny. So I'm pre-recording this on a Sunday and you guys are probably going to be seeing this late afternoon on Monday, which is today when you guys are seeing it. It's still very confusing. So then I'm going to go in with another poreless face primer, which I use a little bit on my forehead. Actually, there is a hack. I don't know if I might have invented this hack, but I feel like I might have because I don't see anybody else really using this hack at all of where you take um, a, a lip plumper, which I have over here from e.l.f. And I use a lip plumper before I go in with my lip product. Does anybody do that? Because I find that the lip product applies more smoothly and evenly if I use a lip plumper or a gloss or a chapstick or anything like that, which chapstick people already use uh, as a like um, a base. Some people are asking me, Ariel, what's going to be happening on the channel next as far as gaming goes, and we're going to be playing Resident Evil 5. This week is basically just going to be like a very easygoing week. Now what I normally do before I apply my makeup is I wash my face do like a lip scrub and everything like that just so everything applies a lot more evenly and for me like the normal amount of time like without filming it or doing like a get ready with me it takes about I would say like 30 minutes for me to get ready to do hair and makeup and that's not like counting all the times I get interrupted by my parents but <laughs> anytime that I'm doing my makeup it takes me like a good 30 minutes and everything like that if I'm doing like a skit or something like that, then it'll take me longer because then I'm doing like special effects makeup and certain stuff like that, but not so much like the special effects makeup as a special effects clothing because I want each character to look different. But yeah, so when you guys are seeing this later on today, I'm actually recording this at like in the afternoon on a Sunday. Who is she? But yeah, actually I'm about to go with my mom uh, today to get Resident Evil 5 because I'd rather have a hard copy than a digital one. For me, I'm about that collecting game. You know, from whenever I see a game and I know it's going to either A, go up in value, or it's something that I just want for sentimental purposes, you best believe I'm gonna get a hard copy, the foundation. And now sometimes like I'll change up the game and I'll do my eyes first and then my foundation, but I don't got time for that right now. I'm in a rush. This is a get ready with me. It's not a sit down and have tea, you know, lounge about, <laughs> braid one another's hair and talk about American Idol with me. Now at first, my skin might look kind of pale, but this oxidizes and it looks more pale on camera than it does in person. I swear, I'm not James Charles. I know how to match my freaking foundation. Throughout the video, you're going to see it oxidize and then you're going to be like, oh my God, she doesn't look like a ghost anymore. And we're wearing a very, very, very bright, bright lip color today. So I don't want too much on my eyes. I just want like a bare 
minimum, you know? So that's it for the foundation. Where did my cap go? <laughs> Hola, senorita. Where did my cap go for the foundation? So next up, what I like to do is go in with concealer, and I'm going to be using, you guessed it, which actually, it's really interesting because I looked at the foundations that I normally get, and either I'll get, like, really high end, like, we're talking, like, Dior high end, or I'll just stick with drugstore because a lot of people don't give drugstore enough freaking credit, man. Like there's so many great makeup products out there that don't have to be so expensive. You know what I mean? Like if it gets the job done, it gets the job done. For me, whenever I'm filming and since I'm under lights and everything like that, I don't like to go with anything too drying. The e.l.f. foundation for me, at least, I don't find it drying at all. I find it very... I don't know, hydrating to an extent because whenever I'm filming and I'm filming for like hours <laughs> on end, I'm not being cakey at all. It doesn't look like I'm completely dead. It still looks like I have some life left to me. Like the foundation itself is just very matte, but it's also very hydrating, if that makes sense. That's a concealer. I normally go with like a little bit of shade lighter than my natural skin tone because I like having a little bit more brightness under the eyes. And for me, I would love to see a gamer or any other, like I has Cupcake, you know, Amy Lee, she's a great Minecrafter. I would love to see any female gamer, any male gamer get a makeup sponsorship because you don't see that nowadays. You really don't see, like you see the beauty YouTubers and all that kind of stuff, you know, get makeup sponsorships, but you don't really see a lot of the, um, uh, a lot of the gamers get beauty sponsorships. That, I mean, that would just be amazing to see. All right, now I'm gonna just go in with um, some face powder just to set everything out. Why does that feel so prickly? My mirror is from Style Nanda, in case anybody was wondering. It's a company over in South Korea that makes amazing beauty products and clothing. And whenever I go there, I am going to be going to the store. Expect many selfies. Okay, since that is done, now we're gonna go in with the lip plumper. Actually, I want to be safer than sorry because what I found with, um, and this is the shade I'm going to be eventually using, uh, with Anastasia, uh, uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills is that some of their colors, especially the liquid lips, can get exponentially drying. So for me, what I like to do if I am going to be going out and I'm going to be like staying out for a while, I keep it with me in my makeup bag, but what I'll also do is keep a chapstick with me, put a little bit of chapstick where the dryness is, and then just reapply. Because I don't know if that's a hack, but shit works. <laughs> and I really want to do the lips first because, you know, I don't know if my mom's going to call me and be like, we gotta go. And I'm like, you know, at least I have my lips done. So I love the doe fit applicator on this. Just saying it's really nice. They came up with a, uh, a new line that was watermelon. And I really want to try the jelly products that they have because it just looks, not only does it look aesthetically pleasing, it just looks like it would be really, really good. Like I don't normally like watermelon products, but they make theirs look really, really good. All right, so next up, we're gonna go in with the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills color in Karina. And this is what I normally do when I get, you know, when I when I get ready for a video, I'll do this. I'll do my hair, listen to some, you know, like I said, BTS or Asking Alexandria. Get ready. Normally I'll wait for like a minute or so, but I don't have a minute <laughs> to wait. So I'm just applying this right over top of the plumper. Now you see, the thing is with a bright color like this, you really have to be patient with it because it just, it it could be a hot mess. And like I said, the oxidiz the oxidiz wow, I cannot tell. The foundation oxidized a little more. Now it actually looks like a skin tone. Living. You see, and that's what I'm talking about. It gets <laughs> the look. I don't know if you can see it on my chin, but it gets everywhere, especially if it's this bright of a color. So what I do is I take a little bit of the foundation and I'll just sploosh it on. See? And there we go. We just have to repowder it because anytime you put foundation on, just, I mean, it's totally up to you. I mean, you know, obviously, but whenever you're doing um, a foundation, that is matte, I would highly recommend, if you have oily skin, especially just to pat a little bit of a powder or something like that. I didn't keep the little puff thing that comes with it because I don't really use those. Um, I use just brushes because I'm more or less like a fine coat of powder instead of just like this heaping amount. Okay, what next? Eyes, next, yes, we'll do that next. With the peach palette, because you know, I'm a peach aesthetic hoe, we need this in my life. I got this, what, a couple of years ago, it was before I moved to New York and I'm already hitting pan on a lot of shades. <laughs> the lightly tap in and it's gonna be like just very basic, like I said, because the lips are popping. 
we don't want the eyes to be too overdramatic because then people will stop me in the street and be like, what is she doing? Yes, we're living for that inner crease. Now what I normally do, actually <laughs> what I always do, uh, is I take a under the eye brush. I don't know the technical name for it. It's a Morphe R41. And what I'll do is I'll place a darker color under here. That way it gives a little bit of just softness and it connects the eyeshadow under here. That way it just looks kind of seamless in a way. So I'll do that and it just makes everything more unison and flow a lot better. One thing that I do use, and I wish they would make this a highlighter from the palette because this, I mean, I've already hit Pam, but this color right over here, I use as a highlight. I don't use it as uh, a shadow too much and I'll just place it right over there. And it's a really good highlight, you know? And that's what I do with a lot of the, um, with the Morphe palettes and everything like that. I'll pick like a highlighty shade for the inner quarter and I'll use it just as a cheekbone highlight. And it just gives a very natural glow. It's not something that's overpowering. It's not something that's gonna take you by surprise and be like, oh my God. It's just something that I really like. And I put a little bit on the nose and then bridge at the nose. I don't have, I don't really contour that much, honestly. I like having, <laughs> I like having a little bit of like, I don't know what it is, like plumpness to my face some days. Like other days I want to look snatched and I just want to be like, <sniffs> but yeah, that was my get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you got something out of it. I don't know if a lot of gamers will upload a get ready with me, but any female or male gamer out there, I challenge you to upload a get ready with me on your basic routine on how you get ready for streaming or posting videos or filming or anything like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like my face and want to do, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so you guys get notified of when I post. Stay casually nerdy, you guys, and I'll talk to you all in Wednesday's video. Peace.